Scream! <laughs> Hi everybody, I am Dr. Brittany Borman. And I'm Dr. Sarah Clito. And together we are the Carter Hall School of Folklore and the Fantastic. And we are here today with another amazing unboxing video from the ever, ever wonderful Sahaya and Company. Um, if you remember, last fall we did an unboxing video of some of her new products, and she liked it, so she sent us some more, and we are absolutely thrilled about this. So thank yes. you so much, Christina, and we cannot wait to see what are in our respective boxes. All right, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> First, we have these incredibly beautiful cards. Yeah, look at this. Like, look, look at this. Look at this business. I know. Look at the moon. I mean, so just pretty. like. Getting this in the mail is kind of just really, really awesome that I really like. <laughs> so I think this is like a William Morris pattern on the back of the envelope. Yeah, I which, think it is. Which respect, so. Which respect, also oh, beautiful card. Oh, so pretty too, look at this. Oh look, look you're, they're different. Oh. Yeah. Ah. So pretty. It's God, stunning. These, are, these could be like prints. Yes, Ooh. oh my gosh, gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, much Chris. Like, You're amazing. Yes, you are. I'm going to have to like hang that up somewhere. It's such a beautiful print. It is. <laughs> okay. All right. I got, I got movies. <laughs> That's the technical term. It so is. That is the technical term. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I found a bundle of things, so I'm oh, going to go found for a it. I haven't, I haven't found a bundle. I found a box. Well, then you're just going to have to wait a minute. Fine. You go first. <laughs> okay. So this beautiful bundle, this beautiful little starry bag here. Ooh, a starry bag. It's a bunch of lip stuff. The moisturizing colors, which I am <gasps> obsessed with. I wear them all the time. Me and too. I have one on right now. I have Sisterhood of the Moon on right now. So I have a gloss on, which I believe is what this one is. But in the meantime, I have a Midnight Maven moisturizing lip color. Because uh, awesome. Because awesome. you can't get better than Midnight Maven. You cannot. No. Okay. So that is blackened blue with dimensional shimmer. This color can be worn more opaquely or used sheerly to tint other shades. Sangria rose scent. Oh, yeah. I'm so here for that. I'm really, I'm curious we, to see how that looks on top of other stuff layered. Yeah. Can I, can we, uh, can we see the, the thing? Hold it up again? Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty. What a pretty color. <laughs> it is so bluish. No, I'm going to break it open. Yeah, do it. Well, while I do that, you can talk about something. Brittany. Okay. <laughs> I open mine, and I also have a little packet of these. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pull. Oh, I'm so happy. I saw a teaser for this, and she went ahead and sent it to me, which is wonderful. Lennon She. Is the name of it. <laughs> well, that's amazing. I know. So if you don't know, Lynn and she is one of my favorite kind of fairies from Celtic folklore. They are sort of like Gaelic muses, but they kind of vampirically feed on their poets and artists and et cetera that they inspire. So they give them amazing inspiration, but then they sort of like they kill suck them. their lives dry. <laughs> so, a little bit. Yep. They're basically so this, vampiric murder fairies. Murder fairies. Murder so, fairies. So yeah, so these, this looks amazing. I'm going to uh, get the, the card she included that has all of the uh, information about it. So Lennon She is, let's see here. Beware the fairy lover, a natural raspberry with bronze undertones, raspberry fragrance. God, it sounds amazing, that right? It does sound totally amazing. Oh, oh my God, it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got like this coppery shimmer to it. I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal it from you when I see you on Friday. No, you're not. I am. Yeah. All right, so I broke into the Midnight Maven in the meantime. So it actually is this wonderful deep color. Oh my blue god, look color. at that! So so pretty. I know it's gorgeous. I really I can't wait to try this. Okay, it's gonna be fabulous. I'm actually wearing one of Christina's colors right now too. I'm wearing a lipstick um, that isn't one of hers, but I'm wearing a gloss over it. It's the Enchantress one, and it makes everything nice. kind of iridescent so and purpley and slight green tints that i'm obsessed with okay but next i have the queen's red 
moisturizing mm, nice. lip color. Now that is, that's like a thousand percent met for you because the queen's red, that sounds perfect. It <laughs> is. All right. So this is a rich pigmented true red that reveals golden shimmer over the length of wear. Red velvet cake fragrance. Thank you, Christina. This is like the most <laughs> V-shaped thing like ever. Mm -hmm. I cannot stand it. And it's this, oh my God, oh, look at that. God, that is gorgeous. I am so excited. If I wasn't already wearing two lipsticks simultaneously, I would layer that on on top. <laughs> Honestly, I might do it anyway. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, I was like, go for it. <laughs> All right, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. My next one is Luna Wing. Luna's Wing. Which is oh my so god. Cute. The names of all of these are so wonderful. I know, Christina always comes up with the best names. So this one is a moisturizing lip shimmer as well. It is the sheerest wash of Luna Green. It can be worn on its own or to add additional shimmer to other shades. Honey cream fragrance. Lovely. I love honey cream fragrances. That sounds divine. All right. I'm smelling it. <laughs> it's right, like your spa this. face. That's serious business. I know. I know. I Ooh, this looks like we have sparkly green. Oh, I really like how that changed it. That, I really like how it changed it too. So I was wearing um, Christina's uh, Sisterhood of the Moon um, mm -hmm. lip color. And this changed it into this really pretty, like darker, redder kind of color. Ooh, yeah, I love of, it. That's oh one of gosh. my favorite, favorite things about these lip colors and glosses is mixing and matching them. Like I'll layer on the different lip colors together. I'll throw a different gloss over them. And it just means you have like a million different colors to play with. Exactly. And, and they all complement each other so well. Like I have yet to come up with a combination that actually doesn't look great. So, yeah, definitely yeah. get a million of them and mix and match. Get a million and mix and match. Super yes. fun. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, I have something very exciting. I have a prototype here of another Ooh, lip gloss. prototype. Because I was wondering, because there's no label on it, and I was like, what is oh. this magic? So this is, my God, I could not be happier. Magic okay. Beans Lip Gloss. What? <laughs> it's so delightful. Okay, so this is cocoa brown with a rusty red undertone and contrasting green shimmer. Mint brownie fragrance. Oh my god, I'm just going to eat it directly off of my face. What? Mint brownie? I know. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of curious. All right. Yeah, you got to put that one on. All right, all right, all right, and all right, all right. So I have a prototype as well. And this one is Autumn Leaves, which is also very on brand. I love how she like cultivated these so sweetly with like the different stuff. Like, it's just so cool. So mine is a rusty red packed with golden green shimmer and a spiced apple fragrance, which is one of my favorite fragrances as well. So ah, if you can see, it looks like this. This smells so good. I just want to lick it. It's kind of a problem. Oh, I want to lick this one too. <laughs> I love this video of us being like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are loving this. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty though. Mm. Yeah. I it's really, it's so really subtle. pretty. Oh, I love it. Mm. it. Smells amazing. And again, like the layering mm -hmm. is so much fun. This makes the it kind of brightened everything up. Yeah. In a way that I wasn't necessarily expecting. But I feel Me like too. the yellow oh, really like level it. just went. <laughs> I really like it. Oh. All right. Divine. <laughs> Thank love you. I love Thank these. You. Oh my gosh. All right. What do we got next? Okay, oh my god. To the candles. To the candles. As you probably already know, um, we are completely obsessed with Christina's candles. I have them scattered over like any flat surface everywhere in my house. I'll yeah, like go into too. a room and just light whichever one is first. So they are always so beautiful. I have currently have one going. This is Sisterhood of the Moon. Oh, that's one probably my, my favorites. Favorite. Yeah, yeah, so one many of my good ones. Favorites. Okay. Now it's new lens, and I'm very excited. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. okay. This, <laughs> what? 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 Uh, mine is called Afterglow. Ah. <laughs> and oh, that's beautiful. It's very okay. iridescent. All right, they're always iridescent, but this one's kind of a peachy, goldeny 
a slightly purpley iridescence, which is really wonderful. And the description is the quiet stillness after complete satisfaction. This is one oh! sexy candle. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Is like, oh my God. I know. Yeah, this, uh, this took a lot to get this Virgo to say that out loud uh, on camera in ah! an unboxing. Brittany's going to make fun of me for this for like years. So for years. For enjoy this moment. I'm, like, I'm turning pink. No. All right, so sandalwood, toasted coconut, shea butter, and warm skin musk. So oh that gosh, sounds honestly, wonderful. that sounds lovely. That it really so does. Beautiful. No, that sounds fantastic. All right, so afterglow. So I have two two candles. So I'm going to do them together because they're both mm -hmm. part of the same collection. So oh wait. Hold on, no, I'm not. I thought that was going to be this, but the other one, but it isn't. So I have two from the Infamous Women collection, which is one of her new collections that is just so cool because it's inspired by women who were like got in trouble <laughs> throughout history. So the first one I have is Saida Al Hura, and which uh, I the description says the lady who is free and independent. All hail the pirate king, queen of Morocco. Fabulous. That is so delightful. Rosewood, coriander, fiery red ginger, and a touch of saffron. Oh, that's divine. Gosh, it oh, that feels, was so pretty, too. It's also very pretty, yeah. But it feels piratey. Like, there's some sort of, like, vague ocean, like, spices, like, in a big ship kind of feel to <laughs> it. Oh, my God. How awesome is that? Ah, oh, that just smells really good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a complimenting one also from the infamous collection. I just, okay. this is like the best concept ever, too. Like, it you can is. see why we keep coming back for more of these candles, because not only do they smell the best, and not only are they so gorgeous, but they're organized uh, so intriguingly and with such attention to, like, legends and fairy tales and all sorts of goodness there, so... My next one is Nell Gwen. So this is what the... Lovely. Ah. Oh, I like her curls, too. I know. That was like ah. a, she, I wonder if she picked that one because it has the curl. I don't know, but in any case, I am delighted. So the description is pretty witty Nell Rose from the brothel to the stage to the bed of the English king. Good for yeah. you, Nell. Go, Nell! <laughs> if Nell could have drunk tequila, she would have. A blood orange margarita with salt around the rim and a chaser of sparkling fruit wine. And that definitely speaks to me. I was going to say, I was like, that sounds like something you would like. This oh, my God. I love this one. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's very citrusy um, and very Pretty. sparkling. It smells... God, I love how all of her candles are yeah. sparkly. Like, I, mean, I know. Just sparkly in some terms of scent, but also in terms of just, mm -hmm. it's just they're sparkly. <laughs> yeah. This one does have an especially sparkling type scent, though. It's very, like, effervescent. and. But you love those, like, you I know, do. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, I so do love perfect. that kind of thing. So I am full of delight. I am probably going to set that one on fire uh, as soon as we're done with this video. Maybe <laughs> even weird. during. That's a weird way to put it, but all right, I'll go with it. <laughs> I am, though. I am. Yeah, the same. <laughs> all right. I have another one from the Infamous Woman Collection, and this one is Hortense Mancini. Ooh. You do. And God, I this love these pictures so much. Oh, gorgeous, right? This oh is like, God. oh, my gosh, one of my favorite colors, this purpley blue periwinkle kind of color. Love it. So this one is the infamous Italian courtesan who set both the English and French royal courts a flutter. French lilac, magnolia, tuberose, peach, and sweetened dusting powder. This one smells like you're walking in a French garden. It's uh, it's like so, um, it's so spring to me. It just, oh, wow. Oh, gosh, you could just like, just, I mean, my goodness, this is you look just like you're just gonna fall over in your chair. Well, I mean, it's just it's, 
it's like walking in a garden. It's beautiful. Like, I just, I don't know how she does this. I really, really don't. Like, she captures these scents so amazingly. <laughs> so, yay. All right. I have another one in the Portent. same collection. And, oh, my God. I cannot with this one either. This is Hypatia. Ah, yes, Hypatia. <laughs> another curly girl. Love it. Yep. Also, oh, my God. Totally curly girl. Color. What, what? Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so Hypatia, in honor of the famed philosopher, mathematician, and astronomer of Alexandria, I'm pretty sure she made like a cameo appearance in the last episode of The Good Place. Of The Good Place, yeah. They yep, laughed wildly. Her. So I, I could not be happier about this. So golden amber, teak wood, white cedar, leather bound books, and a touch of caramel. And if that doesn't speak to like all of us bookworms, I don't know what does. Oh, it smells really good. Yay! And I, I found sometimes with other candles that like if it says it smells like books or like old leather, it smells like musty kind yeah. of, not musky, but musty in like a really, a way that I don't care for, but this smells absolutely amazing and actually does smell like that kind of like papery, leathery smell that I actually love. So just hot damn. Well done, Christina. Damn. Yeah. Well done. Hmm. I know that I know I know exactly what you think. It's like they it's like equating must with uh, with, with old books, books with, yeah. which is not not how old books smell. Like you know, it might and if be they do, there's in, a problem, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I've got one more thing, and it's hilarious. <laughs> I want to see this one is called Scream. <laughs> Oh my god, is that because of the cicadas? It is because of the cicadas. Oh Look my at all the cicadas god. on the cover. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> so it says, what's that sound? Oh, just the mating call of thousands upon thousands of red-eyed cicadas. Brood X is here. And it is here. But my, so I am like just on the border where I am in Virginia. And so we have like gotten a couple just from people bringing them in. But if we go like even half an hour north, they're everywhere. It's crazy. I'm sure Christina has a ton and she's in Maryland. So I'm sure she's getting a bunch. Brood X is oh taking over. Okay. So what's your cicadas smell like? I must know. <laughs> Ear splitting, yurzu and lime. Knee high grass studded with dandelions and basil and a rasp of smoky pepper. That is the best possible interpretation of cicadas that I have heard so far. Oh, wow. It smells... Um, it smells like like the pepper's really strong. Like it's oh, but it's pleasing in a like very uh, scree way. <laughs> like it like there's something about it that feels like cicada. -y. I don't know how you do this. I really, like, Christina, how do you come up with this? I mean, but God, I love that it. is just brilliant. That is brilliant. I never in a I million love the years so much. It's so funny. I never would have thought of doing that. Ever and to make it, you know, fun and fun. to make it smell good. That is, and it smells great. Yeah, it's like it's very, very fun. Good job. They're <laughs> like very I never, impressed. <laughs> would never have done that. All right, what's your favorite thing, Sarah? Oh God, I don't even know. Um, I am very excited about how ultra shiny my lips look right now. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm excited. excited about that. I'm very <laughs> excited about that too. I'm very excited about that too. I gotta say, I think the linen she is my favorite just because mm -hmm. I can't get over the fact that it's called linen she. But I also really love how beautiful this candle is and how it smells literally like I just stepped out into a garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything smells and looks amazing. I might go with the Hypatia is my yeah. favorite so far just because I'm so impressed about the, the leather smell. Like seriously, it has broken my heart how many candles I've had over the year that have been like book scented and I've oh, taken a whiff and been like oh, what the? <laughs> and just yeah. have ended up like throwing away or giving away to people who didn't have the same reaction because I I want to be surrounded by book smell but right Why good we, book we, smell we, good book smell like things that actually smell like books you know? and that, this that is exactly what this smells like and I am so impressed and so excited that I just I don't even 
I don't even know what to do with myself. So thank you so <laughs> much, Christina. These thank are you so all much. Sublime. Wonderful. Everything. Everything is wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. So um, so if you are intrigued by any of these products or any of the other ones we mentioned or anything that Christina sells. She is super uh, happy to give you guys an exclusive discount for watching this video. So the discount code is all caps Carter Hall 10 for 10% off your order. And 10 like the number, not like written yes. out as yes. so letters. C A R T E R H A U G H one zero. Yes. So use that code um check the stuff out if you want to we love it we cannot recommend we it highly it. Yes. enough really, really <laughs> like we i use this stuff every day so same <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for watching you guys we hope you had fun vicariously smelling things <laughs> along with us <laughs> and we'll catch you later all right thanks so much guys bye bye